Friday. Yay, Friday. Today is my last chance for a couple of days to get to the plot and get some stuff done. So I have got my main job today is to get that main last bed weeded. Um, and then the whole plot has been weeded mostly. I mean, they're always popping back up, but it's never going to be clean, clean, is it? It's never going to be completely weed free. Um, so there's no point stressing about making something happen that can't happen. Um, sorry, there's the strimming going on at a house nearby and I don't know what they're strimming, but they're obviously very, um, I would say they're very powerful strimmers because they're very noisy. Um, anyway, my other thing I want to tell you about is that the garlic last night I took it home, not only had it not divided into, um, into separate cloves, but it was absolutely riddled with allium leaf miner so it was completely unusable um, which is sad but I think it's got rust well it has got rust as well so it's rust and allium leaf miner it's just was not meant to be but it was a very wet winter and um, although we did have the periods of cold required for the vernalization the dividing up of the cloves obviously for some reason it's not happened I don't know if the allium leaf miner has got anything to do with that because I would imagine that they have found their way here in the spring maybe I don't, I don't know I need to do some more research on those little critters well yes yeah, so unfortunately I'm going to remove the uh, garlic today so that I can use the bed for something else because obviously that's not going to grow there so I need to think about what else I'm going to sew because I don't want gaps I don't want big gaps um, in the beds I want you know lots of things to be growing even if I grow some more flowers for cut flowers whatever it is I'm growing I want those beds filled. So let's get some weeding done after I've had a little bit of coffee. Oh yeah, dahlias. Dahlias, I need to get my dahlias in as well. Um, actually, all my calendula, all my marigolds, all my dahlias, all my cosmos got, got planted out yesterday. So if I can get the rest of my uh, marigolds and things here. There are some things here that are not going out because I've just left them. But um, yeah, that needs to get done. I think... Uh, I should have brought my compost for the peppers and chilies, but I didn't. So that is a job for at some point over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so here is your before, and then as if by magic. Absolutely no magic was used during the making of this video or any other video I might make. That was hard work, but it's mostly clear. But now I'm going to have five minutes, I'm going to have my coffee. I think I might need a drink of water actually. And then I'm going to get on with the brassica cage. And I need to get the polytunnel done, really. I think it's quarter past 12, so I have plenty of time. Um, I think I need to prioritise the weeding today. And then once all the weeding I want to get done is done, um, then I'll start planting because then it'll then it'll just look nice why it'll just make a difference and uh, the whole plot will feel will feel better yeah. but coffee first and for my next trick There we go. It's quite windy, so <laughs> I've been gathering up the little weed seedlings, but they've um, they've been blowing back onto the beds. But that was a lot easier than the other bed because this is quite loose soil, and it was quite easy to just pull them up because they've grown from seeds. Look at that big dandelion in the corner there. I've left a few poppies in in places at the back where they might not cause too much of a problem. If I can insert a photograph or a video of the poppies that we had here last year, um, you might understand why I'm trying to keep them. Oh look, missed some vetch. This is actually coming through from the other side, but I just keep pulling at it and it keeps keeps that coming up. So yeah, there's a poppy there. That's probably not the best place to keep it, but so let's see about getting some plants to replace the ones the three that have died but I'm really impressed that we've only lost three I mean <laughs> we can still lose more I mean it's not a done deal but you know things are going okay 
considering everything they've got to contend with here with the club route i think they're doing all right the cabbages are looking good really happy with those purple sprouting broccoli needs supporting now because it's getting bigger sprouts yeah everything's good the cauliflowers at the back are looking really good i know cauliflowers can be tricky so it would be nice to get at least one um yeah definitely and the uh, the romanesco that's uh, be nice to get that as well yeah right it's one o'clock i'm giving myself till about two so i've got to go oh i don't know if you can even hear me this wind is getting worse another little coffee break it is a really lovely day today and that wind is keeping it cool when the sun comes out so i can't complain too much but i'm british and it's the weather so i probably will right then next job polytunnel It's looking quite good. This obviously is still here. <laughs> um, I think Mark will come up this weekend and get rid of it, get it down. Um, yeah, because there's some good room there. Also, the melon is actually, um, it's actually got a little melon on it, so I might plant that out after all. See how we get on with it. it seems a shame when it's trying so hard not to plant it. We'll start with the worst end so that it feels better once it's done because it's not too difficult this is just tons and tons of seedlings and look so many of them are tomato seedlings but sadly sadly we don't have room for any more and i'm not risking a crop on tomatoes it might not come true and might not be nice the wind is terrible i've had to tie myself in just to uh, just to stop the door from flying around everywhere <laughs> okay so most of that's out now and I've also taken off some of the um, bottom branches of the tomatoes just to help with airflow and to keep them off the ground. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant out some of the tomatoes I brought with me. Get everything in here watered. I've sort of just put the seedlings down the middle because I won't be watering that bit and they'll just die off and stay here. They'll, they'll just, I'll level the soil in here out again. Um, to be honest, I haven't mulched in here this year, so I think I might just buy some peat-free multi-purpose and just, just pop it along the top and just mulch the tomatoes a little bit. And then I can sort of clear out some of the soil here that's got wood chip and put that in the compost bin, I think, just to help that break down because putting the wood chip in here was a mistake. As my skin or the bottom of my legs will attest to at this moment, because it hurts to kneel on it. <laughs> So, I've got space for six and I've brought eight. One of them is doing this because it's flopped over and then it's started to grow up towards the sun. It's covered in that dead green fly. That is Amish paste or Amish paste, I don't know how you supposed to say that. I apologise. This one I've just bashed, but it's okay. It's just a little bit uh, bent out of shape. This is Amethyst Jewel. Definitely want to grow that one. I've brought four of the um, Amish paste, so I think if I just move you back a little bit. Ooh, where are you going? Okay, so I've brought four of the um, paste plants, so I think I'll plant two of those. Those, are the, those were the ones that I wanted to grow mainly as well because they are a good plum variety for making sauces. Um, but I've got one amethyst jewel and one blue beauty and I've got a Cascade Village Blue now I got these seeds last year not one germinated this year I sowed some more one germinated so I'm really keen to see what this is like I don't know it just um the fact that the germination rates were poor have made me want to grow it more <laughs> I don't know why so yeah so I'll grow my amethyst jewel because I've got one and I do like that one I grew that last year that's from saved seeds from last year um and then Blue Beauty, which I also grew last year, which was okay. I grew them outside as well, so and they did reasonably well, so I'm hoping that growing them in here will produce even better. That's uh, Saint Pierre, which I believe is another... I don't know, is, it, is that a plum? I don't know, I've grown too many. What's the orange paste? What are you? 
yeah the rest are all the orange paste so let's choose the best one this is quite a good one it's smaller than the others but it's a bit straighter and a bit sturdier looking the stems are very slim on these ones so i don't know i don't know how good they're going to be and then this one the other two we've still got this hotbed to take down so we've still got space but i am still toying with the idea of growing my jalapenos in the ground um, to get more of a crop because i do like to get a good crop of those so let's get these in the ground and then we'll think about that when that's done Well, it's 10 to 3, that's my three hours almost up and I'm, uh, I'm really happy with what I've achieved this week getting the squash, I mean look at the weeds though it doesn't take long for them to come back, I've never got those nettles out so ignore those fingers crossed that by the beginning of next week <laughs> I'm not hopeful but that some of these will have picked up and that the peas will have germinated did get the garlic out but there's no rush for that I've nothing to put in that bed yet anyway happy with the brassica cage weeding fox gloves looking oh so nice my neighbour's uh, poppy over there looking lovely as well get those plant pots tidied away so all that remains now is for me to put the, uh, the weeds in the compost bin I didn't get planted out, still got some weeding to redo in this bed, but you know, there's always going to be weeding. Still want to get rid of those uh, raspberries and blackberries there, the bramble, but that's a job for next week. At least next week we won't have to worry too much about weeds. Everything's coming on, everything's looking quite good. Still lots to plant out, still lots of space to fill, but yeah, I'm happy. Very happy. Whew. I'm all warm and hot and bothered now, so it's time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a good week getting stuff done. I'm really happy with how things have progressed and I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload. Please say hi in the comments. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.